How to act at a house party. Going to a house party and have no idea how to act? You are not alone. It can be scary to attend a house party if you've never been to one before. House parties are important in people's social calendar. In one night at a house party, it's possible to unleash the social butterfly within you. It is helpful to overcome your discomfort with parties because you will probably continue to go to parties as you grow up. Socializing at the house party. Go to the party with a friend. The best way to ensure that you will feel comfortable is by attending the party with someone you know. This way, you can both watch each other's backs. It is better to arrive with a friend instead of meeting them at the party. If you plan to meet at the party, you might be stranded alone at the party for an hour or more. Be aware that if you bring an outgoing friend, they may want to be more social than you want to be. On the other hand, if you opt for someone who's less outgoing than you are, you may be tempted to hide out in a corner together and not socialize with other people. Be aware that if you bring an outgoing friend, they may want to be more social than you want to be. On the other hand, if you opt for someone who's less outgoing than you are, you may be tempted to hide out in a corner together and not socialize with other people. Arrive at the party. Don't be shy and knock on the door. Once you're in the party, make sure to greet the host, if there is a clear host. Near the beginning of arriving at a house party, you should scan the rooms and see if you recognize anyone. Go through each room and scout the area for any friends or acquaintances you have. Introduce yourself by saying, Hi, my name is Jill. How's it going? Just be yourself and people will respond positively. If you are not close with someone, but you've chatted before, this is a good person to talk to. Try not to interrupt anyone who's engaged in a conversation. If none of your friends have arrived, try to play it cool by not seeming too desperate for conversation or attention. One way teens cope with this awkwardness is by smoking, but you should skip smoking. It's bad for your health, and you could start a bad habit that could last for years. Instead, check your cell phone for articles to read. Introduce yourself to someone you recognize. Don't feel embarrassed if you don't know anyone at the party. Scan the party for somebody who doesn't seem too preoccupied by a conversation. By finding someone who is free and seems to be in a similar situation, you have an opportunity to create a conversation. Once you create an interesting conversation, other partygoers might notice you. Start simply by introducing yourself and tell this person how you recognize them. Then you can move into a discussion on the mutual topic that connects you. You can spice up the conversation by asking questions about their past. You can ask questions like, have you ever lived somewhere else, or, what did you do last weekend? Interact with your group of friends. One of the easiest ways to socialize at a house party is to hang out with your friends. This is a good strategy because other partygoers will frequently enter your circle of friends. When other people come into your circle of friends, you can introduce yourself. Follow your friend group, but don't feel inclined to follow them throughout the entire night. A fun thing to do at house parties is to venture off alone. Exchange phone numbers with someone. Sometimes it can be helpful to make it your goal to get somebody's phone number. Many people do this for dating purposes, but you can also make the same goal for gaining a friend. Once you meet somebody, keep asking questions until you both realize you enjoy each other's company. Socializing doesn't come easily for everyone and that is fine. Making goals can sometimes improve your ability to socialize. One way of getting somebody's phone number is by asking them if they'd like to hang out a different time. You could say, hey, do you want to go to the Cubs game with me?